Hello, my heroes and villains, and welcome to a, well, a reaction of sorts. Uh, I just finished watching Dragon Ball Super Episode 47. Uh, this is where the picture that you see on your screen is really going to come into play. Uh, this is the episode where we're introduced to, well, we're reintroduced to Future Trunks, and Black Goku makes an appearance. There are certain aspects of where this is going that makes me wonder but I guess we'll get more answers later on but there are things that I seen in here that that were kind of weird uh, in the in the opening because as animes do they change the opening slightly to introduce maybe the new characters that you'll see in the in the upcoming episodes and of course future trunks is in it so is my the girl behind him his girlfriend I guess in this one and this weird Supreme Kai, at least I believe it is, or some or somebody who's like a Supreme Kai of Mirai Trunk Future Trunks' universe. So the episode in general is just it's half future, half present. Well, half alternative future. I guess you want to be anal about it, but Trunk as Bulma is recreating the fuel to have the time machine travel back in time uh, in some hidden lab elsewhere that is not in Capsule Corp. Trunks' whole plan is to, well, her their plan is to take, take the time machine and go back to the time again and try to recruit, I don't know, try to get Goku or, well, actually, Trunks' plan was to go back to, go back to when Cell Saga ended. That was his, that was his goal 17 years into the past. So he was going to get teenage, tr teenage Gohan, so Super Saiyan 2, to help him. At least that's what I was gathering from what he was saying. Because it's hard to gauge on time exactly in here, because it's like 17 years. It's like you don't know ages of these people exactly. So it's, I'm just, I'm, I'm saying it's probably when Gohan first became Super Saiyan 2. At least that's what Trunks is aiming for. Worst part is Trunks is probably gonna want, is gonna wind up at the present time, and he is gonna be pissed off when he sees just how crappy Gohan is. Because, yeah, but he's probably going to be stoked when he sees that his dad and, and Goku can become gods. <laughs> gods. I roll my eyes because that doesn't really necessarily mean much. So, what exact... Th this entire thing was, okay, here's the future where all the stuff's happening, and now here's the past where, in the past, we're just gathering lettuce, eating food, and then nothing. In the future, this is like the big build-up for everything, is because Trunks is going to get back. And of course you see Trunks with the new blue hair, because he he was supposed to have blue hair from the manga and stuff, but they gave him purple hair, and now they're giving him blue hair. But his younger version still has the purple hair. So at some point, Trunks dyed his hair, or he hit puberty, and his hair changed color. I don't know how they're really going to... They're probably not even going to explain anything on that. You're just going to be like, yeah, his hair's a little different. We'll call him blue-haired trunks or something. I don't know, that kind of stuff. And for... And then Mai. Mai's in the picture, but she doesn't last very long. I'm, ha I'm happy I didn't see the Pilaf crew in this episode because I dislike them probably more than anything in this series. And... Other thing. What exactly goes on in the episode? Well, the episode goes that they, that Bulma wants Trunks to go back in the past. I guess the plan is for Bulma, Mai, and Trunks to go back to the past, but Black Goku proceeds to hunt them down. Uh, Bulma is the first casualty, Mai is the second. And for some reason, Trunks forgets completely that he can go Super Saiyan. Because Super Saiyan is now a glorified unlock potential. At least that's how I was seeing it, because the entire time he was... Once he, once he saw Bulma die and Mai die, I was like, come on, dude, that's like automatic Super Saiyan 2 shit right there. But no, you know, Super Saiyan makes no sense in here. If anything, I have a feeling he's going to go back to the past and he's going to learn to go Super Saiyan God. But then again, the way they're going for it, it's just, I, we're going to boost Goku and Vegeta. That is all we boost. They will be the only relevant people. I fear that's what happens. But... Uh, so what's Black Goku especially? Black Goku, we have nothing, we have no idea what his backstory is or nothing, because this is the first time he appears, and there's really nothing about him other than he's murdering, it. well, he's only hunting them, He's and, and then the way he talks, because he actually calls Trunks a Saiyan, 
and you know you only call you only call Saiyans Saiyans when you're trying to murder them like Frieza and and Cooler. So the guy is obviously not a Saiyan, and he looks like Goku. But if and then of course if you want to be a, like super anal on how they look, Goku he he is much skinnier than Goku is. So he's obviously an alien. One of, me and my friend we hypothesized that he he might be like some kind of robot android from like another planet that just somehow winds up looking like Goku. It's kind of like, or it's kind of like the Turles syndrome where where it's like he just happens to look like Goku. You know, his appearance might not have anything to do with fusing with Goku or anything because he only has one earring, a green one. Although there are some people that are drawing the conclusion that he is the Supreme Kai of Trunks' timeline because uh, that Kai they show in the video in the beginning has like one earring and it's on the opposite ear of this. But but his is orange. I, I don't know. And some people are saying Demigraw from Xenoverse the game. I don't know how relevant that could be if they're really going to start crossing game with Universe, with Xenoverse and stuff. If they do, that'd be cool, but, you know, it's very unlikely. As of now, we're going, the next episode is Trunks is in a coma, so I guess he gets into the time machine, falls unconscious, and then he travels not far enough into the past. And, like, well, they show the preview that they yank him out of the time machine, and Bulma's, like, fixing him up, and then Kid Trunks sees him. And then we, me and my friend, we think that they're going to do the thing where they're going to have both Trunks's, and they're just going to call them Trunks and shit, but they'll never be on the screen at the same time, or he'll be in the coma, and then Trunks, Kid Trunks won't be, will be around talking, or when he wakes up, Kid Trunks will suddenly disappear. So there won't probably be, like, a nickname thing, unless they want to go blue-haired Trunks, regular-haired Trunks, however they're going to handle it. So I don't... I don't really, I don't mind the blue hair switch. It's just, I hope they explain it, but they most likely won't explain it, and we're just gonna have to deal with that. Uh, other than that, the episode was cool because they had stuff going on. It's just we had to deal with the present time of filler to fill the gaps in in the present to past, or, well, future to past, future to present, that stuff. Uh, so we're gonna see more, and and the way they and the way they talk about it is Black Goku is, he's like some sentient being, because the way, at least the way that the subs were going, it was like, he, it, it has learned to sense my presence, not he has learned, I don't know if that was just like a, just a thing, but it was that, so whatever it is, so hopefully we'll see what goes on in the next episode, we get some more answers, hopefully it's not just Trunks sleeping for 20 minutes as we try to hammer out what exactly went wrong, but we'll find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z, so... If you guys want to hear more Dragon Ball discussion, I'll probably be doing this. If if the thing really just strikes me, I'll probably wind up just checking it out and, and talking about it on here. And if you guys have any of your own theories, drop them in the comments below so I can know about them. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.